Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 21st of 2020. Well, it is titled solstice sun rises around the year. So what do we see here? Well, we see 13 images of the sunrise taken from the same location, Amman, Jordan, over the course of this past year. And what we see is that the sun will rise in a slightly different position coming on the time of the year. So if we look at the equinoxes in March and September, we will see that the sun will rise due east. So those are the days when we have equal day and equal night and the sun will rise directly in the east and set directly in the west. During the summer months and the June solstice, we see that the uh, sun is rising to the far to the left, which would be far to the north of uh, west. Uh, east, sorry. Uh, so it would be rising in the north of east and it will follow a long path across the sky and give us a very long day as we will get in the summertime. On the winter solstices, the top and bottom panels, we see that it that the sun will rise far to the south of east and therefore make a very short path across the sky and give us much shorter days in the winter. So that's one of the reasons that we get seasons uh, is this motion. First of all, in the summer, the sun will get much higher in the sky, meaning that it is beating down more directly uh, on the northern hemisphere here. And in the winter in December, it will be much lower in the sky and will hit the ground at a much more shallow angle, spreading out that sunlight, so giving us less heating. It's also in the sky for a longer period of time during the summer and a shorter period of time during the summer uh, during the winter and those two combine to give us the seasons that we see. So the seasons will be uh, very strong as we get further as we get a little further north of the equator and at the equator there will really be no seasons because there isn't really a big change the sun is almost always straight overhead but as you get a little further away to the middle latitudes we will get very extreme variations from the sun being very high overhead in the summer to being very low as we get down into the winter and here we can kind of see that progression in the sunrises over the course of the year from December at the top through the entire year to December again at the bottom. And we can see how the positioning of the sun has changed relative to the features on the ground, which are exactly the same as the image was taken from the same location. So each of these 13 images would have been taken from the same location and therefore gives the same uh, landmarks on the ground that we can use to compare the rising position of the sun and see how that changes over the course of the year. So that was our picture of the day for December the 21st of 2020. It was titled Solstice Sunrises Around the Year. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be three jets. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.